start. That would be a good, that would be a plus. Are you ready? I guess. <laughs> My voice is so deep. Hello guys, Jack Dice here from Obsessed Fishing. I'm back. Welcome to another episode. We're out here on the, in the southern rivers of Louisiana. Uh, this happens to be the boat fly, and we're gonna fish the Chifuncta. It's a l early December day. It's really cool out. It's a beautiful fishery, and we're gonna get after it. I hope we can catch some bass, and I hope you enjoy the show. Start off very nice. As you can't tell. <laughs> it's B-roll heaven. This whole area is so beautiful. It's like got these cool blue pads and trees. And, uh, Well, I always, always wanted, I always wanted to fish this river, but now I actually get to try it. So, might have been in the world. Look at that thing. It's like a, it's like a something to attract fish. I don't know. I think it's like a light. Somebody put a light in a jar to like attract fish at night or something. So weird. I couldn't tell what it was when I first saw it. Good one. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the cute puppy. I got a little spotted bass on. Thank you. Your dog, your puppy is super cute. Alright, guys, there we go. First one little spotted bass out here on the river. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at this cute puppy and there she was. It's not big, not even, probably not even a pound, but it's the first fish of the recording session. Let's get back in the river. Came off that little cypress tree on a little shaky head. Give it the old college try. I'm experimenting. I've never been this to this part of the river before ever, so. That's a fish. He had it though. He was swimming off. <laughs> he was swimming off of it. I'm an idiot. He's like swimming all the way off the tree with it. Look at how good I got him too. Right in the corner. There we go. Another little, just under a pound bass, three quarter, maybe a pound. They're not big, but they're fun. That's a, look at how, look at how hard I hit him. There's a hole in his face. Sorry, buddy. That's how hard I hit him with that hook, but beautiful fish. Love that fishy smell. I knew there would be one of this huge mess of trees. Just gotta be, it's too good, but I let him go. Whoa, don't jump. We're trying to get you a nice, beautiful release shot, right? Ready? Beautiful. <laughs> John B. Worthy. <laughs> I was like, why is it, oh, that was so weird. I felt the bite, but then the fish swam at me and I was like, why is it not feel like a fish? There we go, no, that's the chunkiest one yet. Look at that chunky largemouth. Look how fat that thing is, that's a, that's gotta be a pound. You know, let's actually, let's weigh it just for kicks. Let's, got a scale, I've got a, one of the coolest scales out there, the Connect scale, connects to your phone. Very cool. I've been using it. I actually used it at tournaments recently, and it's incredibly accurate. I would actually, I weighed my bag on it, and it was exactly what the tournament scale said. Huh. 1.43. So a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was like a pound, maybe. It's almost pound and a half. Look how that's how chunky that thing is. It's been eating good. All right, let's get him back in the water. Let's 
clean the Poland River water. All right, nice. I got one. <laughs> it's a little tiny warm mouth. Punch your next pitch. Look at the colors on that thing. That's pretty. Wrapping up the day, running out of the camera light. Catch that punching. So I'm going to try a little finesse spinner bait. It seems to work well on this river. I've had caught them on it in the past. Yeah, I'm going to try it. There we go. That didn't take too long. First little creek. Pat on that spinner bait trying something different. Got that little fish. Not big, but it's a start. That was fast, that was, that was literally probably within 50, 60 casts of starting today, so that's good. These trees right here look pretty good because we got this creek and there's a big, there's a big something, uh, area of water back there and the tide I guess has changed or something, but the water is just rushing back into this creek and so these are at the mouth and it's going to, the water's flowing through these opening trees, which is a good place for a bass to set up. Barely dipping the ends. Some orange. Make it look like a crab or something. That's what you do back home on the James River. It's all muddy and there's crabs. That's what you do. Down here there's crabs also, so I figured. <laughs> I thought I felt a bite. That was weird. He didn't hit it much, because he's just a little guy. Number two is another dink. Dink, dink, dink. But they're little chunks. Hopefully if we could catch a lot of them, it'd be a lot more fun. Day three, we're about to get after it. We haven't caught many, but today we're just gonna try to hit as much water as we can and see if we can catch anything we can catch. So, I've got, we've gotten most of our bites in the mouths of creeks, in the mouths of little creeks, and on the main river. So that's what we're gonna concentrate on. We're just gonna hit the mouths of creeks and main river. So, not gonna go back into the creeks, not gonna spend hours flipping mats getting a few bites and just hit as much as we can. So.
have one. I was trying to get us out of a stick and it, the, the rod was started pulling back. Woo. There we go. That's a little bit better one right there. I knew this tree, it sticks out way into the channel and had to have one. I'm like bumping limbs, I'm like, it's, and it just like got tight. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a fish. That's a, that's a good one. I'm gonna weigh that one real quick. 1.83. So getting up there close to two pounds. Not a bad little fish, got a big head on him. Nice. Alright.